Hey guys, it's been like three years, but uh, today I'm back gonna debunk this really stupid video about how the state of Atlantis is uh, proven by a lot of stuff. For example, it mentions that uh, in the Eye of Sahara there's fresh water, but this is not backed up by any source ever. Like, I've been looking for this for ages and I find nothing. So this is pretty quickly proven as false. And the, this is pretty much his strongest point that. Plato mentioned that uh, it's 127 stadia across, which is exactly what it is if you convert the um, uh, distance to our measurement. But if you search in any place for that number, for example here in Necrotius, which is one of his first texts, and the other one is here, where he actually describes it a little. Uh, stadia, you can see here, here, here. And there's really nothing here about it being, you can of course go and look at it yourself, you should also watch the video, and then you can google this. And uh, I mean, this is uh, basically for from like, uh, I'm not sure how where the number came from either, but if you google uh, Atlantis 127 Stadia, we came to a really dumb old website like this, I think this is where you got it from. This is like a weird uh, conspiracy page from probably like 2001 or something. But yeah, it's uh, clearly not true. Another point. Uh, here, the island in which the palace was situated had a diameter of 5 stadia. And we have to kind of assume that the island would be the center island where the palace was. And let's take a look how big 5 stadia is in kilometers. It's it's not a whole lot. Uh, it's nowhere near seven kilometers at least. And it also mentions whale bones and use this picture, I believe. But uh, as you can see, this is clearly clearly found by Code City. Uh, we're not denying, or well, I'm not denying that there was could be a civilization in that area. Uh, if there are buildings, and paintings, and so on, or cave paintings. But I would hope Atlantis would have, you know better technology than cave painting and stuff, it's supposed to be like the glory, something like that, the peak of Western civilization or African civilization, I guess. But instead they have some shitty cave paintings of elephants. So yeah, probably there was life there, but nowhere like the super aliens from the Disney movie. Anyways, we also see another pretty oof point here. You can clearly see that Atlantis is pretty small, right? Or oh, it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah, not very big. We can see here, uh, the land island which was large in Libya and Asia together. And then think, well, how big were those places back in the good old days? Thankfully, we got a map made by Herodotus, which is a historian and which um, the guy also uses his maps to prove his point. And you see here, Asia and Libya, they're pretty big. And they, of course, have Atlas, which is just a mountain chain, pretty obviously. But Asia and Libya, they're pretty big, at least according to him. Uh, they will not be, yeah, they're not, like slightly bigger than this, I would guess. I'm not sure, math is not my strong suit, but anyways. So that's pretty much his strongest points. Of course, you have the, uh, well, the water could be in here, but that's not really relevant to proving Atlantis, especially when, of course, 120 data is just a complete lie. You can't find it anywhere at all. That's his strongest point, and is not mentioned anywhere. Of course, the circles are pretty neat, but that's... It's what they are, the descriptions, yeah, they add up, I guess. The uh, description of the mountains and the like, the supposed mountains here, which are supposed to be uh, to go to the coast, and there's supposed to be mountains covering the entire um, country, surrounding the country of the uh, ocean to the south, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure where those mountains are here, but anyways. And uh, I guess when one believe in like Plato try to write like historically, you can write read this I guess uh, myth as means of persuasion. The point of uh, Atlantis story was you know don't mess with the gods because they will destroy you and your city and everything. So yeah, hopefully uh, this video made sense and you can see why. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, don't lie on the internet. I'll make dumb videos with no sources. And yeah, he doesn't write sources either. So yeah, fuck that guy. See